Glenn Irwin was on pole ahead of Lee Jackson and Bradley Ray in Bennett's British Superbike Race 3, with three showdown contenders missing. No McCann's Yamaha riders and Skinner off to hospital as well. Christian Idden couldn't make it as he went off for a checkup with a head injury from earlier. Glenn Irwin, though, was feeling racy. He got out front despite Brad Ray getting uh, up the inside of him into Lodge Corner. Lee Jackson was ever present, Tommy Bridewell and Danny Buchan in one of the closest races we've seen. Leon Haslam, Tom Sykes and Josh Brooks were all in touch at this point. The two experienced riders, former World Superbike champion and British Superbike champion going head to head. Tom Neve went down again, a nightmare for the number 68 here this weekend. And again, Brad Ray then ran into trouble whilst leading Glenn Irwin. First of all, went through on the number 28, the championship leader, and then it was the turn of Tommy Bridewell as he was looking for a hat-trick of podiums. Danny Buchan was lining up one as well on the Synetic BMW, and Lee Jackson then started to get stronger as well. Leon Haslam at this point was the fastest rider on circuit number 91. Back there in sixth place as Tommy Bridewell moved into the lead ahead of Glenn Irwin. But it all went wrong for Leon Haslam moments later as he went grass-tracking and had to rejoin further down the pack. As we got to the closing stages of the final race of the weekend at Alton, Bradley Ray was dropping like a stone. Through had gone Danny Buchan and now Lee Jackson as well, and he'd moved down to fifth. Jackson then started his hunt for the podium. He went through on Danny Buchan. In the closing stages, we thought there might be a move into the last corner, but it wasn't to be. Tommy Bridewell picks up his first victory of the season. He was first across the line ahead of Glenn Irwin with Lee Jackson in third with six races of the season to go.